If you'd been in the American military back in 1956, early 1957, and stationed in Japan, you would have been able to buy a few records, several records, that the Japanese public were not able to obtain. These were records made by Victor, who of course made the regular versions for Japanese consumers. They were made by Victor for sale on the American bases at the PX stores. Some of them are completely unique releases and some of them are the same as the ones in Japanese shops but with slightly different uh, label designs. So we'll look at both types today. I've also found a couple of other records that were made for US military personnel in that were sold and made in another country. So we'll look at those later. I actually found them right here in Japan. What they were doing here, I have no idea how they got here. Who knows? But anyway, let's have a look at the very first single released, first Elvis single released in Japan, way back in the spring of 1956. It is, I forgot to remember to forget. And of course, Mystery Train on the flip side. So as far as I know, this was never available in shops. I say that because it doesn't appear in any Victor catalogues of the period. And um, it also differs from the standard singles in that on the right side of the label here, it's, it only has the American 78 catalog number. Regular Japanese releases had the genre on the right side. So that's the first one we have. The next one is also from 1956. This one too was not released on a regular Japanese version. This is I Want You, I Need You, I Love You. And on the other side, My Baby Left Me. So the first record there had the big spindle, uh, the big center hole. This one originally had a tri-center, but it's been dinked. A lot of these singles that originally had tri-centers, uh, they are actually, you tend to find them dinked. So the label design, design has changed slightly by this point. You can see it's got the letters EP there in a, a diamond shape. And then the 78 catalog number is there again, the US 78 catalog number. I don't know what the EP stands for exactly. My guess is that it means single because EP in Japan, it's a bit confusing. Sometimes it's used to describe a single and sometimes it's used to, of course, describe an extended play record. I don't think it means Elvis Presley and um, I don't think it means export either. So I think it actually means a single, the Japanese usage of the, the, the phrase. So that one is uh, another tough one to find. You're more likely to find these records in America, actually, which is where I bought all three. The third one being this one here. Hound Dog on one side. Same label design as the last single we looked at. But the flip side here is actually Money Honey. So the Japanese, I think they must have realized the uh, potential of splitting Don't Be Cruel and uh, Hound Dog. Hound Dog, uh, sorry, Don't Be Cruel, you can also find on one of these uh, export singles with a different flip side. I think it was Blue Moon. Really, really hard to find. And you can see that this one still has its uh, tri-center. I got that one fairly recently, a few months ago from uh, a seller in the US. Those singles all came in a standard Victor sleeve. This color is kind of like a pale green color. And um, this particular one has the original price sticker there, 40 cents, and uh, letters and numbers here, YPX, something or other. Maybe this is the PX store number, I'm not sure. If anybody does know, please let me know. And if we just compare that to a regular Japanese release from the period, this is a picture sleeve. So none of those previous singles came with picture sleeves, just the company sleeve. And there's the uh, back with the lyrics and uh, some Japanese liner notes. Fabric Hotel. So this is again, it's got the big center hole before they switch to the tri-center design. And you can see on the right there, it says vocal with guitar. So that's the way they designed the uh, Japanese regular versions with the genre on the right side. And of course, I was the one on the flip side. So those are the Japanese ones, but I've also got a couple from another country that, as I say, I found here in Japan. Let me show you the record and see if you can guess which country these were made and sold in. 
Well, the label design is quite different to the regular releases from this country. But if you look here, these little notches here, that gives you a big hint that these are actually from Germany. The original German singles, they had the circular RCA logo, like the English singles or British singles from 1957. So this one has the uh, Nipper RCA Victor logo, but it's in silver, not color. So it's different to the US one. Also, um, compared to the regular German singles, the label design here and here on the left and right is different. These, this information is reversed. And the text at the bottom going around the label there, this is all in English, whereas your German singles were uh, in German. So it's stamped, manufactured in Germany. You might be able to see that there at the top. But the labels read printed, sorry, made in USA. But I would imagine that the labels were printed in Germany to um, American specifications. I can't see the point of printing labels in America and then sending them to Germany. But if anyone knows different, please let me know. Both of the records that I have here, I'll show you the other one. So that's all shook up, and um, that's when your heartaches begin. The other one is the earlier one from 56, Love Me Tender, and uh, Anywhere You Want Me. So, like I said, the first thing that struck me about these records was how, how heavy they, they, they are for, for singles. But they also sound really good. Uh, you can see, if I tilt the record there, that they, they actually have quite a lot of faint superficial scratches that you often get with these old records, but they sound really good. Big beefy sound to them. Um, the slight crackle that you get from the, from the little scratches doesn't really interfere with the uh, sound at all. So those are my new German export singles. Very happy with those. I think this is the, uh, the thing to look out for, the silver nipper logo at the top there. That's uh, the thing that identifies them straight away. So if you have any, uh, any other singles from uh, Germany like this, let me know what you've got. And um, if there are any other records that were made for the American military in other countries, um, I'd be very interested to hear about those too. And as usual, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, please drop them in the comment section below. But that's it for this video. Thanks a lot. Take care. Cheers. This is some information I found on the PX stores online. This first photograph here, the caption reads, Two months after the Japanese surrender ceremony on board the USS Missouri, the first PXs in Japan opened in Tokyo, followed by PXs in Yokohama, Osaka and elsewhere. Pictured the post-exchange at Japan's camp Zama. Zama is a city in Kanagawa prefecture, so it's not too far from Yokohama. This next picture is actually in Germany. It reads, the post-exchange at Wiesbaden, Germany, 1949. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Exchanges opened throughout Germany and Japan to serve thousands of troops and their families who were relocating to the countries to help repair the war damage. And this final picture here is the exchange in Yokohama, Japan. に日本で買った他の国の2枚も持ってます。じゃあまずはえ、日本の3枚から見ましょう。こちらはエルビスの国内初のシングルでした。忘れ字の人。ミストリートレイン。通常版と違って右側に アメリカのSPバンの規格番号が書いてありますこの1枚の通常版はなかったと思いますで次にマイベイビーレフトミンこちらも通常版はなかったですね日本版 で、ラベルの右側のデザインはちょっと変わりました、前のと。アメリカのSP版の規格番号だけじゃなくて、このEPマークが
あります。どういう意味かよくわからないけどもしかしてまあ、EP って日本語でシングルという意味もありましたね。4曲のレコードだけじゃなくてシングル版も EP と呼ばれました。50年代に。もしかしてそういうことだと思います。輸出のエクスポートじゃないと思いますし、エルピス・プレスリーの EP じゃないと思いますし。で、えー、ビクターのオプショナルセンターがついていたけど、取られちゃった。で、もう一枚あります。こちらは、ハウンドドッグにマネーハネ。通常版もありましたね。右側に、この EP とアメリカの SP 版の、えー、企画番号じゃなくて、ジャンルが書いてあります。通常版を持っていないんですけど、ハートブレイクホテルの通常版を持っています。このように、右側にジャンルが書いてあります。この、こういう、えー、米軍基地で販売されたものは、なかなか出ないですね、日本に。3枚持っていますけど、どれもアメリカ人、アメリカにいる人から買いました。日本のオークションサイトに出るとしても、本当に高く売れます。さて、他の国の2枚も持っています。これも日本、え、これを日本で買いました。海外じゃなくて。なぜ日本にあったかよくわからないけど。じゃあ、ラベルを見て、どこか、どこのレコードか、ちょっと当ててみてください。ここと、ここと、ここにある切り目が大きなヒントです。こちらはドイツ版です。通常のドイツ版のレコードといくつかの違いがあります。まずはロゴマーク。こちらは、えー、まあアメリカ版に似てるロゴマークですけど、カラーじゃなくて銀色ですね。通常のドイツ版はイギリス版と同じ丸い RCA のロゴマークがありました。で、こっちとこっちはカタログ、えー、企画番号とか、通常版は反対側です。つまり、企画番号は右側にあります。この右側はマトリックス番号ですね。通常版は左側です。で、下の文は英語ですけど、通常版はドイツ語です。でここに見えるかな。ドイツ製って、印字されていますこれを買って最初の印象はですね非常に重いレコードでしたで音もとてもいいですなかなか品質の良いレコードです薄い傷いっぱいありますけどそれなのに結構いい音が出ますでもう一枚はラブミーテンダーにどっちみち俺のものこういうのも日本版と同じように非常に珍しいです日本で見つけて非常にラッキーだと思いますじゃあ今日はここまでですね以上ですね何か質問がありましたらぜひ聞いてくださいありがとうございました